This audio program has been produced by YBM. All rights reserved. ETS TOEIC Bridge. 公式文字集 Practice test one. Listening comprehension. This is the listening section of the test. There are three parts to this section. Part one. Directions. You will see a picture in your test book, and you will hear four short statements. Look at the picture in your test book and choose the statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then mark your answer on your answer sheet. Look at the sample below and listen to the four statements. A. The boys are laughing. B. The boys are reading. C. The boys are fighting. D. The boys are painting. Statement B. The boys are reading. Best describes what you see in the picture. Therefore, you should choose answer B. Now let us begin part one with question number one. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. It's a waterfall. B. It's a river bank. C. It's a swimming pool. D. It's a rainstorm. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. They're standing outside. B. They're washing the car. C. They're waiting for a bus. D. They are closing the door. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. He's playing a game of golf. B. He's typing on a computer keyboard. C. He's reading a book of music. D. He's sitting at a piano. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. They're working in school. B. They're making a meal. C. They're sitting on the wall. D. They're wearing sunglasses. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. The farmer is opening the gate. B. The sheep are outside in the snow. C. The hay is stored on top of the barn. D. The animals are coming down the hill. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. She's using a telephone. B. She's turning on the light. C. She's tidying the office. D. She's hanging up a jacket. Go on to the next page. Number seven. Look at the picture marked number seven in your test book. A. The boys are putting on their hats. B. The boys are playing a sport. C. The man is throwing a ball. D. The man is picking up a bat. Number eight. Look at the picture marked number eight in your test book. A. She's handing papers to a student. B. 
She's turning on a computer. C. She's holding a book in her hand. D. She's reading some papers. Number 9. Look at the picture marked number 9 in your test book. A. They're facing the building. B. They're dressed for cold weather. C. The man's carrying a branch. D. The woman's putting on her shoes. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. People are walking on the path. B. There are flags on the building. C. There are trees by the stairs. D. People are resting on the grass. Go on to the next page. Number 11. Look at the picture marked number 11 in your test book. A. The boy is having a drink. B. The family is playing a game. C. The girl is sleeping on the sofa. D. The man is clearing the table. Number 12. Look at the picture marked number 12 in your test book. A. One woman is holding a baby. B. One woman is sitting in a wheelchair. C. The women are driving along the road. D. The women are walking together. Number 13. Look at the picture mark number 13 in your test book. A. He's reaching up to the ceiling. B. He's staring into his backpack. C. He's climbing the staircase. D. He's leaning out the window. Number 14. Look at the picture mark number 14 in your test book. A. The women are looking at a screen. B. The women are standing in the kitchen. C. A woman is washing her hands. D. A woman is mailing a letter. Go on to the next page. Number 15. Look at the picture marked number 15 in your test book. A. He's frying eggs in a pan. B. He's placing the kettle on the stove. C. He's hanging a picture on the wall. D. He's pouring water into a cup. Part 2 Directions Now you will hear a question or statement followed by three responses. Choose the best response to each question or statement. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear Good morning, John. How are you? You will also hear A. I am fine, thank you. B. I am in the living room. C. My name is John. The best response to the question, How are you? is choice A. I am fine, thank you. Therefore, you should choose answer A. Now let us begin part two with question number 16. Number 16. Would you like some tea? A. Yes, I do. B. To see a friend. C. No, thank you.
Number 17. It's about 7 30, isn't it? A. Yesterday morning. B. I think so. C. By five o'clock. Number 18. Where is the bus stop? A. I'll stop soon. B. On the corner. C. It's not. Number 19. Are you all right? A. Yes, I'm fine. B. Turn left here. C. That's okay. Number 20. When does the next class start? A. In classroom 6. B. In two weeks. C. It's very interesting. Number 21. Who gave you that watch? A. My son bought it for me. B. I don't like television. C. Because it was my birthday. Number 22. I don't think I can carry this. A. I think I do. B. Here, let me help. C. Yes, I care. Number 23. Why did Anna ask to borrow your camera? A. No, I don't have any questions. B. It was yesterday. C. Hers is broken. Number 24. What would you like to do while you're visiting? A. No thanks, I've had enough. B. Let's go sightseeing. C. At the end of the day, I guess. Number 25. Don't we have to leave for the dinner soon? A. I had lunch there. B. He's leaving next week. C. In about a half hour. Number 26. Shouldn't you move the car into the garage? A. I don't like movies. B. Yes, there was. C. I'll do it soon. Number 27. Helen studies very hard, doesn't she? A. Yes, she studies a lot. B. This one's quite soft. C. I'll examine it. Number 28. Where did you put those papers? A. I left them on your desk. B. Ten copies of that. C. I bought one earlier. Number 29. Would you like to go now or later? A. That's a lovely idea. B. I'm ready now. C. To the cafeteria. Number 30. How did you get so wet? A. A friend gave it to me. B. I forgot my umbrella. C. Yes, he did. Number 
Why don't we set out the food? A. Yes, let's do that now. B. We should drive instead. C. I'd rather not sit. Number 32. How often do you visit your parents? A. By car, usually. B. Every few weeks. C. In the next town. Number 33. There's no heat in my office. A. It fell off. B. In the restaurant. C. I'll turn it on. Number 34. Was the first computer class in May or in June? A. From time to time. B. Yes, I can meet you. C. I think it was in May. Number 35. Don't you have a bicycle? A. Actually, I don't. B. She's still in high school. C. That's a bit too far. Go on to the next page. Part 3 Directions Now you will hear 15 short talks or conversations. In your test book, you will read a question followed by four answers. Choose the best answer to each question and mark it on your answer sheet. Now let us begin Part 3 with question number 36. Number 36 Is it better to take a taxi or a bus to the hotel? The hotel is only two blocks from the station. You can walk. Wonderful. That will be very convenient. Number 37. Welcome to your first day of class. Before I begin our first lecture, I'd like to cover a few items of business. It's very important that you bring your book. Note paper and a pen or pencil to class every day. I expect you to arrive on time and participate in the discussions. Any questions? Number 38. I'm excited because my brother is coming to visit on Friday. That's great. Is he going to stay the whole weekend? Yes. He doesn't have to leave until Monday morning. Number 39. Welcome to the Stratford Art Museum. On today's tour, we'll see some of this museum's most famous works, as well as some that aren't as well known. Please keep up with the group, and if you have any questions, just raise your hand. Now, If you'll follow me, we'll begin in the Hall of Ancient Sculptures. Number 40. I have to go shopping for some office supplies, but I don't know where to go. Well, there's a store about a mile away, right by the bank. Oh, I know where that is. Do you need any supplies? Number 41. A pair of glasses has been found in the parking area. Will the owner please come to the security office to claim them? Number 42. Is my laundry ready to pick up? I'm sorry, it'll be a few more minutes. 
In that case, I'll come back after I go to the bank. Number 43. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Springfield Theater. The play is about to begin. Please make your way to your seats. The curtain will go up in two minutes. Number 44. Here, I brought these in for Miss Chan's birthday. John, these cookies are delicious. Did you bake them yourself? Thanks, I did. Your chocolate cake is good too. Number 45. The fall sales event is now underway at Lowry Motors. Choose from over 100 new and used cars of all makes and models, now at the lowest prices of the year. For the best deals in new and used automobiles, come on in to Lowry Motors on Mason Road. Number 46. There are so many people in the clinic today. Everyone comes in after the weekend. I won't make another Monday appointment. Number 47. In other news, the annual music festival is scheduled for Friday through Sunday in Welford Park. Each year, Musicians from around the world gather to perform new pieces and old favorites. A wide variety of music is represented, and organizers are sure this year will be even better than last year. For more information, visit our website, localnews1.net. Number 48. Where did you find such a beautiful guitar? It was a present from my uncle. He played it when he was in high school. It must be worth a lot of money now. Number 49. Once a year, Newland College awards a special prize to instructors who have proven their dedication to our students. The winners are selected by six judges representing the college's major fields of study. This year, they have selected three instructors who have helped students achieve their goals. Number 50. Do you still play chess? Not really. It's just such a long game. But you were so good at it. Would you like to play next Saturday afternoon?